Um, it has been fantastic overall for both our staff, our students, our admin. Uh, the transformation I've seen just in a month uh, in the past uh, school year has been phenomenal. One thing that's really stood out to me is the change in teacher practice. Uh, without really any formal development coming from above, uh, we've talked a little bit as a staff, but um, I've seen more transformation in teacher practice and what teachers are doing in their classrooms with their students in the past month than I've really seen, honestly, in the past six or seven years. And that's just come from the product of these devices coming down to classrooms and knowing each kid is going to have a device in their class and now teachers are stepping back and asking themselves, how does that change in my classroom? What can I do with that? And we're seeing some amazing things. Um, kids working online, the collaboration that's taking place. Um, we're seeing a lot more inquiry-based learning and project-based learning in our classrooms. Uh, it's really been transformative. So, uh, as an older teacher, i um, been teaching now over 20 years, uh, this whole Chromebook and working on the computer and the Google Cloud was very foreign to me, and I felt very... Um, intimidated by it initially, but um, I thought I'm going to get on board, I'm, a, I'm going to learn this, I want to stay relevant, I want to stay current with what's going on, and so I decided to sort of come into this slowly, and the first thing I tried was uh, the whole Google Apps where students would submit their work to me online in the cloud, and I would then give them um, formative feedback and um, on their actual writing. So I started that about two years ago, and uh, it completely changed my thinking on um, how this all can work. And I absolutely loved it. I remember um, uh, emailing my, it was on a Saturday morning, I was dutifully marking grade 11 essays, and um, I remember, um, English essays, I remember uh, emailing my department head and just being blown away at how easy this was and how um, quickly I was catching on and how quickly I was able to give feedback and you know highlight something, comment on it, underline things, highlight things in red, whatever I wanted to do and um, and my I can type very quickly and so my typing so I was able to give very in-depth formative feedback immediately sent it to the kid and then the, the, the thing the amazing thing was the student a few students that morning happened to be also be online and they sent me things back immediately with their changes and is this okay do you think this is good and so I was I was hooked immediately and I haven't um, I've been on board ever since. So my name is Callie Socket and I teach grade 9 English at Huron Heights and I'm just gonna say a little bit about um, how the Chromebooks have changed uh, something that we did all the time in our class um, and this is within the first few weeks of the of using the Chromebooks. So uh, in our program in grade 9 we read Q for Treason which is a very old book and <laughs> the kids laugh because uh, the copies that we give the kids have uh, duct tape holding them together and uh, sometimes they explode and they have things like that and uh, we, we found that we could get a copy of it in a PDF form online. So we have the kids, they have a hard copy of the book, but they also can access it through their Chromebook. And one day in class, this is Kayla, <laughs> sorry, I should have introduced her, and Kayla um, was listening and had her Chromebook, so she had an earphone in and listening, and I said, what are you doing? And she said, I'm listening to Cue for Treason. And so I was like, stop everything. How are you doing this? So tell me what you did to, uh, so to get to it. What I did is I took the PDF online and I copied and pasted it onto a Google Docs account. And then there's like the read and write thing on it. And you just kind of like press play and then it like kind of just read it to me. Mm -hmm. So I was, so we sort of stopped the class and I said, how many people know about this? And they, a lot of the kids had already figured it out and I didn't even know about read and write at all. So it was, uh, I was like, whoa, this is exciting. So we, we got it and I, I hooked my Chromebook up to the speakers in the, in the class and we, we found out that you can have different accents on read and write. So then I said, well, this is, a, this is supposed to be a British kid. So we, we put the British accent on it and then we played it and the kids were saying, oh yeah, I do that. And then, then, then we had this whole discussion about listening to Q for Treason. Uh, changing the conversation was a kind of a nice paradigm to talking about educational change because we've had things come and we've had things go. And um, the president that changed the conversation the most, by the way, was Ronald Reagan, according wow. to that survey. And, and I, I pondered that a little bit and thought, okay, in terms of what we're doing with the Chromebook project, and we certainly saw it in the interviews today, mm -hmm. um, 
this is fundamentally changing the conversation in the school. This, like no other initiative I've ever seen, has uh, changed the way people not only interact in their classroom, but interact with their colleagues, interact with the school board office, interact with the administration, and it is a fundamental sea change in how we do business in schools today. And that's only been, it's less than two months in, and that, that's, we're already seeing that, and that came out in the interview 